Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. That sounded like Paula Dean, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I'm sorry. Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Ryan. <laughs> and I'm Angela. From Arnie Music. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's where we are. That's right. Right now. We're right lit here. literally <laughs> in Texas at this very moment. It's time for another I FAQ know. Friday. Yay! Backing Yay. Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. Yeah. No, actually, it's not. I love Mondays. I like Mondays too. Mondays are. But I are love thir days. Thursday Fridays because we get to do this. Yep. Too. I do love this. I love this video series. Thank you guys for all the questions. We're having a great time doing this. We are. This. It's a lot of fun. It's great. Yeah. Keep the questions coming. Yeah, we love it. All right. Okay. Question number one. Yes. Dave Lockwood. Hey, Dave. Dave Lockwood. What's up? All right. So I'll find out about the shirt for your wife. We'll get that done. We'll check on it anyways. All right, Dave Lockwood, Ryan, can you give us an update on the Chapman Guitars ML3? I want to put down a deposit. Okay, I will take your money. To hold one, any updated info about release delivery dates? Yes, Dave, thank you for your question. As a matter of fact, I put in an order at the end of May. <laughs> so I already ordered the ML3 traditional and some of the moderns at the end of May. Right now, <laughs> delivery time on Chapman's from order to actually receiving is about five months. Yeah. Whew. So that's, that's crazy. about how long it takes to get it from the factory for them to make it and get it here. And they're just, the factory's super busy, building tons of guitars. Guitars. So November, I should have the ML3 traditional in November. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's November 1st or November 30th. I, Sometime in November we should have those. We'll keep you posted. Yeah, and I am taking pre-orders. If you would like to pre-order a ML3 traditional, uh, M I have the blue coming and the Swamp Ash, and I have the Satin Black Modern coming. Mm -hmm. A very small supply of each coming in because we're just testing the waters with these. But you can pre-order one right now. Send me an email. Awesome. Especially for Dave Lockwood. Dave was either our first or second Chapman Customer. It was either Dave or Tim. Oh. I can't remember who actually bought first. Ah, or it might be neck and neck. They're right there together. All right. Okay. Thanks, Dave. It's a tie. All right. Next question is Flipside Music. All right. Hey, that's Ike from Flipside Music in Hi, Denver, Ike. Colorado. <laughs> Do we, weren't we just on the phone, Ike? I think so. Ike's a Chapman guitars dealer as well in Denver. We're buddies. We work together on a lot of stuff. Awesome. Flipside music. This is for both Ryan and Angela. If you were Doctor Who, which doctor would you be? Which companion would you take? And then what concert would you travel back in time to see? Mm, wow. wow. That's a great question for Angela and myself. Thank you for doing that. Which doctor, Ooh. if you could be a doctor, which doctor would you be? Oh, that's hard. That's not hard at all. No, it actually is pretty hard. Okay, not so. For me. I probably would be either the fourth doctor or the tenth doctor. And my companion. Which one's the tenth doctor? David Tennant. Okay. I don't know their numbers. I just know their names. And I would probably either get um, Amy Pond or... <laughs> She's annoying. Or... <laughs> I liked Amy. Um, or Rose. I liked Rose because she had such a sweet human... And, but then there's Donna. I like Donna. And then there's Sarah Jane. And that was, she was really good. Dr. Donna. The Dr. Donna. Um, and what like concert so what what concert would I go back to see? I mean, there's so so many throughout time. There's like, you know, like the very first concert, you know, out and about. Which was what? I don't know. Like I would be, I would know people, if I was the doctor. People hitting on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> or like. Mozart. Like Mozart or Beethoven, you know, 
when oh. like sit in the room in my Snap. TARDIS and like sit there while you know they're composing their first symphonies. Yeah, that's what that's where I'd go. That's great. That's okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I would be David Tennant, who is apparently the tenth Doctor. The tenth Doctor. Because he's the coolest. Yes, he has great hair. Yeah, he knows how to handle a sword too. Yes, so. with his fighting hand. It's a fighting hand. Whovians would know that reference. Yeah. Whichever doctor is good with swords, I like David Tennant the best as far as the companion. That's hard. Like Who's the new like one? Who's like the, the... Clara? Clara. I kind of like her. Yeah, she she's was sassy. A, yeah, Runny, she's a bit sassy. Boy. That'd be yeah, weird to have like Clara. Her. Clara? Is that Clara? Clara. Clara is a Clara. very name. Clara is Clara a Net. <laughs> Clara Net. Yeah. It's smaller on the outside. Yes, she's Clara. the only one who's like, no one's ever said that. It'd be weird to see her with David Tennant, though. I don't know. I think they'd work well together. Yeah, I think it would be great. Because he's sassy and so is she. I think so. they'd be good. That's probably who I would take. Or Rose. Yeah. Her they first. Love each other. They love each other. Oh. Yeah. All right, as far as which concert I would go to, I thought I had it immediately because I just read your question just now. I did not preview this before we recorded. Mm -mm. Sorry, Pat. Yeah, sorry. No, we didn't, I didn't read these questions ahead of time. We're reading them in real time, answering them. That's why this takes so long because we're thinking. Uh, immediately as I was reading it, I thought I would go back in time to my very first concert that I've already oh. been to. And I would watch it again because it was Pantera in Dallas, Texas. My first concert. This was oh, in 1996, awesome. 95, 96. It was phenomenal. Best concert I've ever been to in my life. I would go to that one. Or the debut of Beethoven's Ninth, ninth Symphony. I would probably go I would probably go to the Beethoven thing because I could. And it's time traveling. Could. And yeah. I've actually seen... We'd catch the Pantera thing on the way back, though. You know, like in how the doctor would like give, say stuff, and then it'd be like, and then you have to you think about it. It's like, oh, so it was the doctor's idea that, you know, Shakespeare said, and it's the it was the doctor who actually said it, and he gave that idea to them because he went back and. I would help Beethoven compose. So it's like, you know, I would put that note, you know. I would give there. him. I would give him my expertise and make yes. it better. And then it would be instead of being the ninth, it'd be the Ryan. The Ryan Symphony, fantastic. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Or it'd be the Clara. <laughs> you change it to your yeah. your commanding's name. I would name. I would name. I would change the name from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony to Beethoven's Exterminate Symphony. <laughs> be awesome. Or it'd be called. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The Total Excitement Symphony. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ike at Flipside Music. Good question. Yeah. Next one, David Rooks, who rocks. Canton, Texas. Well, I live outside Canton, Ohio. Must be why we all rock. Yeah. See what I did there? I see what you did there. That's Rooks funny. rocks. Also only 45 minutes away from the awesome Robert Baker. I know Robert. Here's Hi, Robert. the question. Mm -hmm. If you had a time machine, <laughs> I just happen to have one because I'm the doctor. Coincidence? I yeah. did not. Uh, that's crazy that those two questions are side by side. Yeah. If you had a time machine and could go back and produce any album, what album would it be? Mm -hmm. Why? And would you change anything about it? You want to go first? No. Yes, I would go back <laughs> and I would produce Metallica's and Justice for All and actually put some bass guitar in it. Mm. Like immediately, like from... You know, you can go and you can look it up on YouTube and you can find where people have gone and remaster it and actually put the bass parts in it, but it's too loud. I would go fix it. I would fix it because phenomenal album. Mm -hmm. mm, the mix on it was n not optimum in my opinion. And of course you can't hear the bass, which is a shame because it mm. was... If we could do And Justice For All, but with the production value of Metallica's Black album or even Master of Puppets production quality... That's the one I would go back and change above all the others. Hmm. I don't know albums, so... You haven't heard an album that you're like, oh, man, if the drums were louder, that'd be nice, or anything like that. No. No, because she hasn't listened to metals. <laughs> she listens to real music, where they generally get the mix right from the beginning. Yeah, right. 
Uh, no, there's not a sing not an album that I've just been like, ooh, I like this song, but I don't really quite like this song. Yeah. I don't know. There you go. Simple, mm -hmm. simple answer. All right, next, Cheryl Evans. I don't know if this is a question. Sean Connery is the sexiest James Bond. Yes, we covered that. The accent. Then it says Pringles Ryan. Question Pringles mark. Ryan? Like, you like Pringles? Yeah, who doesn't? That's how I read it. Yeah. Let I me just, know if it's wrong. Pringles Ryan. Well, the last time there was a can of Pringles on an amp. It's not there now. Yeah. I ate them. Yeah, and if you if you have heard if this is stemming from previous... Yeah, if you go back like, like to... And we're previous. talking about what he likes to eat with... So I understand that because I'm in the same boat with you. There's, there was a question like two FAQ videos back about Pringles. Yeah, and mozzarella cheese and milk. Does that make you mm, queasy? A little bit. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I like Pringles. I don't eat them that much anymore actually because I'm trying to eat better. Yes, this is true. He has a, normally it's like every time he goes to the store he would buy, buy at least, you know, not every time, but every other time he would bring like home a can of Pringles and mozzarella cheese. Because we'd have milk, and he'd be like, yay, snack. But now, I mean, it's been months and I months. I don't even drink milk, like, regularly. No, anymore. and when he drank milk, it was like milk. Like, you might as well have drank half the gallon. It was milk. Well, milk. that's good. Yeah, so, here you Anyways, go. Anyways, just making a sick. Next know. question. Next question. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Big John. Big John. I always think Hi. of John Wayne. Yes, I John. know. We say Big, Big Bad John. John. Big <laughs> Bad John. Big John, Ryan and Angela, if you guys were trapped on an island with me and my wife and able to put up with my wife snoring like a banshee, aww, aww. and we had everything we wanted but coffee, <laughs> would you trade your favorite guitar to the natives from the next island over who had coffee? P.S. Last time me and my wife got on a three hour boat ride with you. <laughs> three hour tour. <laughs> Um, would I trade my favorite guitar for coffee? No. no. <laughs> we don't drink coffee. We don't even drink coffee. Well, I do drink coffee, like, at my Bible study on Tuesdays because it's Java time. So but, Java with Jesus. But that's that's the only time I drink. She drinks well, coffee. Well, I'm, with, I'm with my mom because she makes the best coffee. But I don't make it. We don't drink it. Which is, like, twice a year. Yeah. So, so once a week once she has a week coffee. Once a week I have coffee. And then... And then if that falls in with the time I'm with my mom, then maybe twice a month in, during that month. How often do I have coffee? Never. Never. So if you and your wife love coffee, you guys are just stuck. <laughs> you stuck like Chuck. Sorry. I'm play my <laughs> guitar. I will, I will serenade us As all. As we're waving goodbye. While your wife is snoring. <laughs> drown out the snores with some beautiful uh, yes. heavy metal music. Thanks. So, yeah. Thanks, Big John. <laughs> Good question. Mm, who's next? Okay. All right, Andy Brobin. Mm. Next. Hey, Andy. Yeehaw! Howdy, Ron. Howdy, Angela. <laughs> question for you both. Howdy. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> what are the top ten things I would need to know if I was visiting Texas for the first time? Ooh, ten. That's a lot. Hmm. <sighs> what does he need to know? Like... Like, I don't think you need to know warnings? anything. Yeah, like it's a warning <laughs> sign or like top ten things uh, you should do while in Texas. Don't go where the banjos are playing. <laughs> yeah, we don't have much of that. Though. We don't really. No, we don't it's, have not, that. it's more like acoustic guitars and trucks and beard. Um, I don't know. That's a weird question. Top ten things I would need to know. Well, or do or let's do let's, let's go with need to do because yes, that makes okay. sense because we just did this with Pat David Gray yes. hi Pat from hi, Australia Pat. again <laughs> uh, we'll do what I did with Pat go see the Dallas Cowboys stadium like even if you hate the Dallas Cowboys which is fine the stadium itself is it's phenomenal amazing it's pretty silly so and it's like seventeen bucks to take the tour yeah. of the Cowboys stadium and you can go down on the field and throw a pass and go to the locker rooms all sorts of yeah. things so. Cowboy Stadium, mm -hmm. Six Flags, over Texas, yeah, maybe. maybe the Alamo, yes, definitely worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing. Awesome, awesome story. Um, um, barbecue. Eat some good barbecue. Good barbecue. Ask a Texan where the good barbecue. Don't just giggle it. Get some good BBQ. Get some good BBQ. Shoot some guns. Shoot some guns. Definitely. <laughs> Because it's legal. Have me cook you some chicken fried steak. 
definitely get some chicken fried steak. <laughs> These are all things that we did with Pat, except for the Alamo. Yeah, we didn't get it together. We it's didn't go like there. It's six, too far away. It's six hours away from us. Texas is freaking huge. It's so. freaking huge. I <laughs> uh, have Angela's barbecue steak. Yes. Barbecue exactly. steak. I said bar chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak um, and mashed taters. Mashed taters. Have some steak. Steak. Regular steak. Yeah, have Ryan cook you some steak. Which I would cook for you. Yes. We did that with Pat. That was, that was great. Um... Three more, three more things. Three what, more things. Three other things that you need to know about Texas. Or do. Well, in Canton, you have to go to Jerry's Pizza. Jerry's Pizza. That was another one. Best um, pizza in Texas. Yes. Bar none. Uh huh. Um. What's another good go one? Go to a rodeo. Go to Fort Worth Stockyards. Uh, Fort Worth Stockyards. That would be great. We didn't do that, but it, you know. That's a good thing to do because it's it's a good Texas thing. Yeah. And um, probably go visit Austin. The music scene in Austin. Oh yeah, live music capital live music. of America is in Austin. In Austin, I would say go yeah. to Austin, check out some music. It's really far away. Yeah. So land in San Antonio and work your way up. Yeah. And end it with a home cooked meal for me. Well, Maybe. I was gonna say something before you said Austin. <laughs> I forgot what it was now. Go to a football game. Yeah, a high school. Or college. Football. High school or college. Like a UT, University of Texas. U, yeah, a UT in, game. In Austin, when you're checking Austin, out the music, go to University, University of Texas, Texas football, football game. game. Definitely, because that will be just like, Texas! Yeah, super yeah. Texas. Super duper Texas. Yeah. Super. <laughs> yeah, you'd see how really crazy we are about our football. And when you're in Waco... <laughs> oh, no, I mean, you would be in Waco. Uh, what's, what's in Waco? Baylor. Baylor University. But also in, in Waco is the Texas Rangers Museum. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Texas Rangers not in baseball. Not Texas the baseball Rangers, team, but actual like, our Rangers, Walker, like Walker, the Lone Texas Ranger, Ranger and the Lone Ranger. Yeah, Lone Ranger. That's like the old school Rangers. So. Yeah. The they still exist. Law enforcement agency. They're still, they actually do still do stuff. Yes. So, I think that's, yeah. that would be stuff to go do in Texas. As far as what you need to know. It, Texas is hot. It's hot. East Texas is humid hot. West Texas is dry hot, and so is South, kind of South Texas. South Texas is kind of humid hot, but different. It's very breezy, so it's a little bit cooler and easier to stand because the coastal air goes yeah. back and forth. But East Texas, the the part of Texas like this, is really humid hot. The up part like this is dry hot. So lots of sunscreen, drink lots of water. That's one thing you need to know. Skeeters, mosquitoes are real bad, so it's good to keep some bug repellent. It's good. Mm -hmm. Peppermint and water. It's good to mix together and spray on your body. Mosquitoes don't like that. In lavender, they don't like that either. Yep. So, it's, yeah. Yep. Don't visit during the summer. Except yeah, for this don't. summer. We mm, have like a 75 Yeah, come in the fall. Like, come in like Rocktober. Yes. Rocktober. October, November, December are perfect. That would be football season. Football season. In Rocktober. Yeah. Rocktober would be the time to come. Yeah. Yep, but bring some shorts because it might be 100 degrees in October yes. randomly. So. You never know. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks, Andy. There you go. Texas oh, in a nutshell. I'm glad this one came up. Zach Wukitz. Mm -hmm. uh, last, last week he asked, What does Angela unlike the most about me? Spell check. <laughs> Which I thought Spell was check. an odd question. <laughs> and luckily we made it through. We did. Very much unscathed. That was a great... there's nothing I dislike about you, it, really. It ended up being a really good question, but it was an accident. Uh, Zach Lucas. Sorry, I meant most... Most not unlike. Yes. My bad. That's... Most not unlike. That's still confusing. I, what he meant to say was, what do you like, like the most, most about me. being married to me? Is it being married to me or just me? Uh, what do you like most about me? Angela, let's, re let's like, redeem last week's question because he meant to what say what I like, like most this. about Ryan. Like his physical features, what I like most about Ryan are his eyes. His gorgeous blue eyes. If you haven't seen them up close, they're gorgeous. Can you see them? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it probably won't come off. It probably won't, it won't come, come off. off. Very good. Yeah. Oh, my back. Uh, what I like most, what actually really caught me about with about Ryan, we our first time we like spoke on the phone. We talked for hours and hours and hours, and I like his on sense of humor. Phone. He cracks me up. He cracks me up all the time. We are always laughing. 
And that's what I think I like most about Ryan is that no matter if it, you were just if, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I'm in a bad mood, he, he can always say something that cheer me up. So I think that's what I love. My eyeballs uh, and my sense of humor. Well, there's other things <laughs> that I can't slam on YouTube. Ageless, <laughs> PG-13. <laughs> no, pg is bad. This is like PG. <laughs> there are children. Yeah. <laughs> it's the rugged beard, rugged manliness. Yes. There's many things that I like about Ryan. I like that he's a great teacher, he's a great father and husband, and he's, um, he's just an overall... <laughs> Don't stop, don't stop. Um, but it, he's just really great, you know. No, he's always no, been. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you like the most? The most about you is your heart. Oh. Why? Because he's always it's so still pumpy. The way y'all see him, you know, and he's so fun, and that's how he is all the time. So he's he cares about everybody, you know, and he's a really good um, defender of the little man. So I like oh, I, yeah. I love that about him. He has a really good heart for people. I hate it when people get picked on. Yeah, neither do oh, I. Oh man, we can tell you some stories. Oh my gosh, <laughs> let me tell you. No, let's not talk about it. <laughs> but yes, we. I, I think that that's it. Is his heart's as big as Texas, y'all? Mm. <laughs> and the heart places right in the feels. Feels in the feels. <laughs> You're so nice. I know. Yes, you are. All right, so there you go. Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> because I always say I'm not a nice man. <laughs> yeah, but he am. is. <laughs> big teddy bear. No, I'm a grizzly bear. Sorry. Not a teddy bear. Kodiak. There you go. A polar. Urgh. I will cut you. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> All right. Fade to Hollow. Hello, hey. Fade to Hollow. I love the fact that we get a lot of the same people each week asking us questions. I know. Y'all are really loving asking us some questions. <laughs> y'all are coming up with some good ones. I'm surprised. I can picture y'all like, hmm, what can I ask them next week? <gasps> yes! <laughs> we haven't got the one yet that we've been like, yeah, oh, no, nobody's we're, asked us about We're really, show. we're really curious. Y'all can ask us anything. PG rated. Yeah, yeah, anything. no like. Don't be ugly and don't be nasty. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah the I'm one mama. The one I question, like, it. I didn't even think about it. Someone else brought it up. I was like, I'm surprised nobody's asked y'all about this. I'm like, oh, I didn't yeah, even think about it. Yeah, we're not going to say what it is. Yeah, you got to ask. Because we want y'all to figure happens. it out. Fade to Hollow, what was the first song you learned to play on guitar? Man, first one that I actually could probably play all the way through, like, well, mm -hmm. was probably Smells Like Teen Spirit. Of course. That's like now, typical the first, 90s. The first song I started working on was... Guns N' Roses. I was going to say, it's probably Guns N' Roses. Sweet though. Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses was the first one I started working on. Like, I went to my teacher Dang. when I want to learn to play guitar. I'm like, I want to play this song. He's like, okay, here's a D chord. Dang. What's a D chord? Okay. <laughs> awesome. Because it's the first chord of the song. So, first song I started working on was Sweet Child of Mine, followed extremely closely by Inner Sandman. Um, the first one I actually could play all the way through, like, play the song was smells like teen spirit i think pretty easy song that's a lot of a lot of people from the 90s if that was your age when you were a teenager uh the first song typical. i ever learned all the way through yeah was somewhere out there off of american tale thoughtful goes with thoughtful. on guitar no i, I learned the first oh. song i ever learned all the way through on guitar it was a worship song yeah, that was a water a water's deep song. Water's deep. Yeah. Water deep or water's deep. Water's deep. Simple, like four chords. Yeah. G C E minor D. That's all I can do. Yeah, pretty easy. It's a great yeah. song. Yep. Um. Oh no, what did I do? Okay. Yeah. So mine was yeah. There was smell like Teen Spirit. Water's deep. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. Good question. 
Okay, and our final question comes from Pat David Music. <gasps> Hi, Pat. Crikey! <laughs> Wallaby. I miss Pat. She's all Sheila. Look at that She's little Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Crikey. Isn't Don't say she anymore. Alright, sorry. Don't say Alright, we got anymore. a bunch more videos coming with Pat. I've got to edit, but anyways. <laughs> Two choices. You can either eat your favorite meal for every meal for the rest of your life, or you have to constantly listen to your favorite song for the rest of your life all the time. Which would you choose? Oh, man. Both of those don't sound good, Pat. Like, you ever heard of too much of a good thing? <laughs> Even the best things in life, if you do can, them can, too much, can be a, in excess. or consume them too much, yeah. that's I, a hard one. I would have to say, I would rather have the same food than listen to the same thing over and over again because that's how they like torture prisoners of said, war the rest of your life the rest of your life all the time which would mean like 24 hours a day seven, seven days, days a week, week. i have yeah, to listen to master of puppets near whereas if it's your favorite meal you know you could probably get by with your favorite meal like once a day yeah maybe three times a day but at least one yeah. one, one time a day i have to eat my favorite meal i'd have to eat fettuccine alfredo with chicken Every day. Could, could we have, because she has her favorite meal, then I have my favorite meal, and could we like trade sometimes? Does that count? <laughs> no. Alright. A Jerry's pizza for the rest of my life every day. Mm, so sad. Mm, I could do that, because well, at least with yeah. Jerry's pizza, I could flip it up like, hey, I need a veggie one, because I've had way too much pepperoni for the last <laughs> seven years. Yes, exactly. And I could have broccoli, I guess. Yeah. I think I have to go with the food thing because you would go insane listening to the same song. That's what I'm song. saying. They do that to torture yeah. like prisoners of war. Play them. <laughs> Play them Metallica 24 hours a day. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Play them. Oh, I was about to be mean. Never mind. The, oh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, I was going to say like Miley Cyrus or something like that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nobody's favorite song. <laughs> that would be a good torture no. tool. So. <laughs> no. There you go. Alrighty, well that's today's FAQ Friday. Thank you guys so much great for your questions. questions. Yeah. Very nice, very creative. Good, 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 good. It's great. Made good, me feel good, good, good about good. myself. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. My camera went all wobbly again. Gotta buy a new camera soon. Um. Yeah, so if you want to leave us a question, leave us a comment question down below for me, for Angela, for both of us, and yeah. we will answer those questions. We will. Next week. Next week. Yes, it'll be great. Have I'm so happy you're back. Yay, I'm back. She's been gone for like five days. No more bachelor weekend. Yeah, no more bachelor Into life. Into that, yo. Can't have that. Nope. Not for very long. Nope. All right, so thanks, you, thanks, you guys. <laughs> So thanks, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Keep the music alive. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> Zombie Daryl. Yeah. <laughs>